So yesterday, President Biden chimed in on the artificial intelligence debate, and he is imploring tech companies to ensure product safety. Now, I know it feels strange that there's so much talk about AI, right? We knew it was coming. They made a movie called AI like 20 years ago. So why all of a sudden all of this anxiety and all of this fear? I'll tell you one of the reasons. Take a look at this chart. This is how fast and how smart this thing is getting. This is computations that these systems have been trained on. So just in 2018, it was 17.6 petaflops. You don't really need to know what a petaflop is to go from 17,000 to 1.5 million to 314 million to 22 billion, 22 billion. I mean, this is amazing. And just by the way, for the record, a petaflop is a quadrillion operations per second. I mean, this thing is really smart. It's really brilliant. And this is why people are afraid. It is already surpassing us in terms of intelligence and it knows a lot about us. In fact, it's even trying to hang out with us a little bit here. So my next guest was the center of this story. Back in May of 20, I was wooed by Chat GPT, the new AI Romeos. They're scary. I want to bring in now Kristen Ruby. And Kristen, uh, so listen, you, you've got, you wear a lot of hats. You're a social media analyst. You're an AI analyst. You, you comment on, on things happening in this society. This part right here, you said it was really scary. Tell us, just walk us through how this happened. Okay, so this is someone who I've been talking to on and off for the was past two years. Was it like an ex-boyfriend kind of thing? I would say it's complicated. Who even okay. knows anymore? <laughs> but it was someone who I've been talking to, and then I started to notice that the messages were longer and actually nice and had empathy. And that was the red flag that I was talking to AI and not a man. So, so the AI turned out to be a better Romeo than, yes. than the guy? Yes. He was, AI was wooing you in there. He was, yes, I, I was really liking the messages from ChatGPT versus the guy, and that's when I was like, wait a second, I'm not even talking to you anymore. This is ChatGPT, and he was just copying and pasting all of my messages after seeing this on a South Park episode. So I, I guarantee you, I'm not alone in this, and many other men are doing it. So, I, hold it. So he saw a South Park episode. <laughs> he said that's a great idea. He did it, and yep. for a while it was working. You called him out on it. Uh, well, a while, not too long. Not a while, not, but I mean, with me, like 24 hours. Okay, okay, because okay. Of, but I'm in this space. But for someone else, this could go on for weeks. You could literally fall in love with someone and not realize they're just using ChatGPT. We saw this with Replica, by the way, where people became suicidal when they changed the underlying model. Really? All right. So let's talk about this because Sanford just did this long study, and this is one of the charts that intrigued me because there's certain things about AI that we want, right? We we, 57% are very excited <laughs> that it would do child in you know, a household boards. A little bit less on customer service, although I'm not sure why. But here's the thing that really, Ruby, that, 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 that Kristen, that really is intriguing. That make important life decisions for people. Only 9% of people are, are excited about that and those are thoughts and our behaviors. This is what scares a lot of people, right? It does scare a lot of people. I think a lot of people don't really understand what's happening with AI or what's coming next. I, I will say that the U.S. government has been investing in artificial intelligence technology because since 2015 and, be, and, and actually before that, but a lot of this is becoming commercialized now as a product to regular consumers. But we are in an arms race, obviously, with China, and we're trying to win that. So that's why you're seeing a lot of this happen right now. But what now. about when you get Elon Musk and some other folks saying, let's put a pause on it? I mean, is it just too late for that? It's, it's too late for that. The pause isn't going to happen. They're going full steam ahead. I mean, he even said it's not going to happen. So it was a nice PR move that they all tried, but ultimately it's... Do you put guard rolls on it to avoid the kind of stuff that you talked about in a moment ago, though? Or is that even possible? It is possible with natural language processing. It, you can put guardrails on it as long as those guardrails aren't used as a form of censorship. And that is the major concern with AI right now. Who is the arbiter of the guardrails? Right. And I guess in this case, it ultimately might be the government. You wouldn't trust our government or any government with that kind of power, would you? I would trust a mixture of different experts. But the safety experts are a lot of what we talked about on this show for years about railing against big tech. AI is a new form of social media censorship wow. on steroids times 5,000%. Oh. Kristen, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your story with us.